example for integration by parts, we're going to try to solve the integral of the sine of the square root of x dx. And this is one that doesn't lend itself to integration by parts immediately, but what we're going to do is a little substitution. Uh, normally I use u for, su for substitutions, but since I know we're going to be doing integration by parts later on, I'm going to use a different variable here. I'm going to let w equal the square root of x. And then whenever you make a substitution, you also have to figure out the derivative of that variable. So dw, if you think of the square root of x as x to the 1 half, then dw is 1 half x to the negative 1 half dx, which is 1 over 2 square roots of x. dx, which is 1 over 2w dx. And so that tells you that dx is 2w dw. So we're going to make that substitution in here. Now we have the integral of the sine of the square root of x, which is converted to w. And then the dx is converted to 2w dw. A lot of people forget to to uh, change the dx when they make a substitution. That's a really important step, so you have to make sure to include the dx when you make that substitution. And now I'm just going to pull the w outside, or sorry, pull the 2 outside. You can't pull the w outside. I'm going to pull the w to the other side, and we get w sine of w dw. And now this is a kind of a standard integration by parts problem. We got w times sine of w. Um, in fact, this was done as an example um, at the beginning of my first lecture on integration by parts, so I'm not going to redo it the same way. Instead, what I'm going to do is the tabular integration method, and you'll see another example of how to use the tabular integration method to do something like this quickly. So I'm going to set up w sine of w. And remember, you do, inter you do derivatives on the left. So the derivative of w is 1, and then the derivative of 1 is 0. The integral of sine is negative cosine of w. And the integral of negative cosine is negative sine of w. Again, we make these diagonal lines with positive and negative signs on the lines. So plus, minus, plus. Um, and then the answer here is what you get when you multiply along these diagonal lines. So negative w cosine w. And the second diagonal line has two negatives canceling each other. So you get plus sine of w. And the third diagonal line has a 0, so that uh, just multiplies away to nothing. And now I'm going to substitute back. We get 2 times. Remember, w was the square root of x. So square root of x cosine square root of x plus the sine of the square root of x. And then, as always, we have to add a constant at the end. So the trick there was making a little substitution at the beginning. Once we saw this square root of x, it looks kind of unpleasant to deal with, so we made this little substitution at the beginning. The w equals the square root of x. And that allows us to convert the integral into something that is very amenable to integration by parts. So that's the end of our lecture on integration by parts. Thanks for watching. This is educator.com.